of these, if you're looking for an amazing chocolatey holiday treat, you're going to love these chocolate hazelnut clusters because they are super easy to make and also they are super super delicious. Stay tuned, let's begin. So for this recipe, I am using hazelnuts because they are my favorite, but you can use whatever nuts you like. Uh, you know, it's up to you. So what I would do, I would just roast my hazelnuts. Uh, my oven is preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake this about 8 minutes or 10 minutes depending on your oven and make sure they are flat. The reason that I'm going to bake these nuts is just because I love the roasty taste and also it's whenever you're baking it's better to remove the skin just because it's getting rid of that better taste. They're really nice and toasty as you can see. So we're just going to transfer it onto a cloth. So this way we're just going to get rid of the skin. See? It was like a magic. It's so quick and fast. So now the skin is off, we're just gonna break the hazelnuts. Here we are using milk chocolate chips and I'm going to steam it very slowly and gently just because we don't want to burn the chocolate so it has to be on a very low temperature so now we got the hazelnuts ready and now it's time to melt our chocolate so as I said I'm not using a crock pot you could use that if you have I'm just gonna use the steam I'm gonna lower the heat here So as you can see, the chocolates are being melted and we're gonna stir them very gently. You can use uh, any chocolate you like. Uh, also, I really love dark chocolate, but try not to go more than 70% because then it's gonna be very, you know, bitter. Malt chocolate is really good for this recipe. So as you can see, I just add some butter just for the shine and the taste as well. And also I'm just going to add a pinch of salt because for baking you always need some salt. It's gonna make it super tastier. We're just gonna add the hazelnuts. Pour them to the sheet and let them cool off. Amazing! The clusters are almost ready, but I'm just gonna top them up with some shredded coconut here. Here I have some crushed candy cane. And here I have some uh, cake decoration or you can use it for any desserts. So I'm just gonna start by coconut. And we're gonna make them more festive. So this one will have the snowy effect. It's such an easy recipe that you can have your children helping you. It's such a fun thing to do. 
I guess the shredded coconut cluster will be my favorite. Or also I like it simple too. But just for the uh, decoration, I'm gonna use the candy cane. Uh, you know, just for the um, colors. Probably I'll just use few. I think a few is enough. Two is enough? Yeah, candy cane is not my favorite. Okay, well, I'll do three, I guess, just for the look of it. There you go. Here we got some heart-shaped decorative candies. These are cute too. This too, I won't use much. Amazing, they are so beautiful and they are ready. Let them chill out about 10 to 20 minutes and we're gonna come back. These clusters just came out of the freezer and we left them for 10 minutes and they look so cute, so pretty, so festive. I like this one, beautiful. I'm so excited because these make the best treat for holidays. I have an empty box here and what I'm gonna do is just make a gift box you know out of these clusters so i'm just gonna give you some ideas how to make a cute gift box you can share it with your loved ones i'm gonna make some of the candy ones that my husband don't like so i'm gonna give these away give those candy candy yeah away. he doesn't like these <laughs> <laughs> I love this one, it's so beautiful. I have some cute decoration. Just gonna throw it in the box. It's cute, it's heart shaped. So as you can see, the little holiday gift box is ready. It's super cute, I find. It's beautiful, you can give this to your loved ones. They would love it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful recipe. It's so simple, you can make this with your kids. They would love it. It's such a fun activity for them. Uh, so uh, I hope you love this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and do follow me on my Instagram at Sahara's Kitchen 1. Until next video, bye bye.